Hello everyone, this is Asa Laveau, founder of Genius Academy, best-selling author of I Am Man Enough and I Am Woman Enough. So for those of you who don't know, I've been following all day. I um, am involved with the US, the Miss US and Black, the Miss Black US Ambassador Pageant. I emceed the luncheon earlier and I am now getting ready to get ready to host um, the actual preliminary event for tonight. So that's what I'm here doing. And we are at the Rose State Performing Arts Theater in Midwest City, Oklahoma, which is a suburb of Oklahoma City. So we're still in the Oklahoma City Metroplex. Uh, hey, Amber, I see you joined. Remember, I say hello when I see you guys. Um, so I labeled this Facebook Live what resilience looks like. Hey, Michael Cushio, why did I name it that? Well, like I said, I'm here at the Rose State Performing Arts Theater and it's 2016. I have not been in this theater since the year 2009. What happened in 2009 at the Rose State Performing Arts Theater is I stepped out on everything that I knew at the time and I had an event here. <laughs> I had an event here and the event that I had was called the Mahogany Concepts Stump Classic. That's what I had here in 2009. During that time I owned a store, a retail store in Crossroads Mall. Not a kiosk, an actual store. A retail store and we, I sold uh, fraternal regalia and multicultural artwork. And I decided my name of my company, the name of my store was called Mahogany Concepts. And I decided to have a Mahogany Concepts step show. So if you don't know anything about uh, black fraternity and sorority world, hey Brian, if you don't know anything about that world, um, step shows and black fraternity and sororities go hand in hand, like hand in hand. And I decided to have one, and I did that, and I, did, I put everything into it. And I mean, I would say everything, I put everything into that step show. And I, I mean, it's a very nice theater here, <clears throat> very nice side of town. And I failed. I failed. I felt so bad, people were writing about me on blogs. People wrote about me on blogs in 2009 about my step show. I was on the radio. I had people flying in. People drove in for it. I gave $5,000 grand prize to the winner. And yeah, it was not in prizes. It was in cash. $5,000 grand prize in cash. And I did it with the help of some great people. I remember uh, Nisha Williams. I remember you helped out. David Taylor, I remember you helped out. Roger Porter, I remember you helped out. You were there. And I failed. And I have not been back to, I haven't been in this theater since 2009. <laughs> so, for a minute, I was gonna <laughs> call this Facebook Live video what failure looks like. And then I had to remember, this isn't what failure looks like. That's what failure looked like. And I've come a long way since 2009, having an event where no one really showed up and people talked about it to the point that I was on the tips of people's tongues in barber shops and beauty salons around the city afterwards. But I still, I paid everybody on time. I did, I paid my DJs, I paid security, I paid police I paid like I just paid I made sure that I, I was operating well even though I didn't make the money I wanted to make nothing really went right it was horrible it was like and then that weekend was the night that weekend was the same weekend Valentine's Day weekend uh, that was the same weekend my marriage finally um, ended that was the same weekend my great-grandma passed away it just all went to shit <laughs> went to shit 
And I'm telling you all of that because sometimes I get in my inbox and people are like, Asa, you're so positive. Asa, you're so this. Asa, you're so that. You have no earthly clue um, that it was not always like that. So what you see, like all of, yeah, bestseller status wasn't a real thing. Being able to make a thousand dollars in a day was not a real thing. Um, taking my son on trips like a cruise that we went on last year, that wasn't a real thing. I just, yeah, it sucked. It sucked. I'm telling you that story because I get it that it may suck where you are right now, but I need you to keep going. I need you to keep going, keep going, because if I think about what it felt, if, what, if I think about it too long, what it felt like that night to be in this building on that night in 2009, I might start crying. That was a horrible night and I learned so much from it. And in this moment, I'm realizing that if it wasn't for that night, I wouldn't be here. I have insured things and a way of doing business better because of that experience. So keep going. It all works out. It all works out if you keep going. If you stop, it won't work out because you stopped. Keep going. Hi, Yolanda. Hi, Camila. Um, you have to keep going. Please keep going. For the future you, so this is 2016, for the you in 2020, please keep going. Like that was seven years ago when the shit hit the fan in this building and I'm just now coming back to it in a different, like, I'm coming back in a different way. Like, it's weird to think who about who I was then and who I am now. And guess what? I was always this. I was this then. I just didn't know it. I hadn't met this Asa yet. And you haven't met, and your future self is gonna say the same thing. In 2020, you're gonna say, I didn't know that Paige. I didn't know that Tamika. I didn't know that Michael. I didn't know that Brian. I didn't know that Amber. I didn't know that Jesse. Like, you're gonna say that. So I'm gonna, I'm just asking you to just keep going um, and be resilient. You get knocked down, get up. Get knocked down, get up. That's resiliency. Keep showing up, okay? Just keep showing up. And failure sometimes happens. You can call them challenges, you can call them setbacks, you can call them the hell you want to. They don't feel good, I know that shit. <laughs> they, don't, like, they do not feel good. But keep going, keep going anyway. So, as always, I am Ace Laveau. You can find me on www.acelaveau.com. Dreams and blessings.